Hello, this is Scotty, and he is the world's goofiest mini schnauzer. And if you're thinking about getting a mini schnauzer, you need to know that they do come with their own set of challenges. In this video, we're going to go over the top five things that you need to know before bringing a miniature schnauzer home. I'll share my own personal experiences as an owner of two different mini schnauzers. So, number one, high energy. Mini schnauzers are high energy, prey-driven dogs. These are not dogs that just want to chillax all day. Schnauzers were bred to have a purpose, which was working on farms, catching rodents, driving livestock. So they are going to need your time, attention, and energy, such as walking them, throwing the ball for them, at least an hour a day of exercise, which is good for humans too. If they don't get that, it will translate into anxiety, destructive chewing, and other behavioral issues. Make sure they have a variety of safe chew toys and don't leave any valuables out because they have a taste for expensive shoes. Their high energy nature also means that they can be very vocal and develop barking habits. They have an instinct to be overly aware of their surroundings and wanting to alert their owners. So they will alert you to anything that comes near the home. That energy needs to be harnessed by you as the owner. Which brings us to our next point. Number two, intelligence and stubbornness. Miniature schnauzers are one of the most intelligent dog breeds. They are actually the smartest out of all the schnauzer sizes. But with that intelligence comes stubbornness. They are trainable, but absolutely require their owner to be firm. If they think they can get away with something, they will. So it's best to start young and take them to obedience training school if you can. One of my biggest regrets with Scotty is that I waited too long to discipline and train him. And by the time I did, he developed some bad habits. This was brought to my attention when I took him to his obedience school. His instructors explained that he was actually extremely smart. In fact, they even called him Einstein. But they said that he figured out how to walk all over me. And I was letting him. So you have to be firm with your schnauzer and not allow behavior that you don't approve of. Nip it in the bud in the beginning. But please remember to be patient and never mean to your dog. Firmness and patience will pay off. Just as you would train and discipline young children, you need to do the same for mini schnauzers. They are like toddlers. Number three is their socialization needs. Mini schnauzers are known to be anxious around other dogs and situations that they are not familiar with. So it's best to start socializing them as young as possible, since that's when they are most impressionable. This was another mistake that I made with Scotty. Now, part of the problem is that I did get him during the pandemic, so it wasn't always easy to have him properly socialized. Later on, once we started getting out more, I noticed how nervous he would get around new situations. He has a tendency to get nervous around other dogs, and small children. When he sees other dogs, he basically loses control of his emotions. When he sees my young nieces and nephews, he also gets a little nervous and just does not know how to behave around them. He's never hurt them, but you can tell that he's not as confident around them. If I could do things over, I would have exposed him to dogs, places, and especially young children as soon as I brought him home as a puppy. All right, number four is their health issues. Mini schnauzers are prone to certain health issues, especially pancreatitis, as well as allergies and digestive issues. My first schnauzer, Watson, often had bouts of digestive troubles where his food had to be switched. Once he even needed emergency surgery due to an abscess in his digestive area. I found that raw food was the best diet for him. In order to avoid these breed specific health problems, especially pancreatitis, you'll need to feed them a low fat diet and avoid indiscriminate snacks, junk food, and fatty scraps. Make sure they maintain a healthy weight. I maintain Scotty's weight by measuring out the same amount of food every day with a measuring cup. 
one half cup in the morning and one half cup in the evening. I feed Scotty an organic dry dog food and he does well with that and does not have any health issues. Schnauzers can also develop dental issues, so get them established with a good vet and make sure that they get regular checkups. Number five is grooming requirements. Schnauzer fur is actually made up of two different kinds of hair, a soft undercoat and a wiry outer layer. They are non-shedding, so their hair just keeps growing, which makes it very prone to get matted if it's not brushed out. This means schnauzers require a full groom every six to eight weeks. You can either take them to a professional groomer or learn to do it yourself if you're especially talented. I have neither the time nor the talent, so I take him to get groomed. And where I live, it usually costs around $55 to $65 for each full grooming. Also, they will need maintenance in between their groomings. This means fur brushing, teeth brushing, nail clipping, and possibly even beard washing. They love to sniff and shove their beard into everything. So it gets dirty and stinky really quick. So there you have it. Now, I'm not trying to talk you out of getting a mini schnauzer. They are amazing, goofy companions. I've never known of a breed that is fuller of personality than a mini schnauzer, as any schnauzer owner will confirm. I just think that it's important to be aware of these things before you get one, so that you can be ready and prepared as an owner. Now, if you are already an owner, do you have something to add that you think people need to know? If so, leave a comment. Scotty and I hope that this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.